Welcome to Rise Up Namobile. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at quadratic trinomials by Met Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So example number one. What do you do when you're given a question like this and told to factorize? So rule number one. Ignore middle term and increase middle space. Now in this instance, our middle term is 13x. So we ignore the 13x and increase the middle space like this. Okay? So rule number two. Multiply a and c. So what is our a and c in this question? Our a is 2. Our c is 15. Okay? And the 13 is like a b. So what is our a and c? It's 2 and 15. So what is 2 multiplied by 15? It equals to 30. So here's the 30, okay? So rule number 3. Find factor pairs of ac, which is 30. What are the factor pairs of 30? Here they are. So if you don't know how to find these, I'll advise you to watch the previous video, which I'll be putting in the description down below, okay? So after finding your factor pairs, rule number 4. Ask yourself, which factor pairs, when added, give us a positive 13? Which positive 13 are we talking about? We are talking about the B, hmm? which is our second term. Which is a uh, like a positive 13. Okay? So why do we use addition? Because, like the sign in front of the 15 or the sign in front of the C is an addition sign. Okay? So now, when you look at our factors here, you know already when you look at 1 and 30, it's like 1 plus 30 gives us what? 31. It's very far from positive 13. And then you look at 2 and 15, it gives us 17. So when you look at 3 and 10, it gives us what? A 13. So which means these two are the factors. Hmm? These are the pair of factors when added, gives us a positive 13. Good. Now, once you have found your factors, which is in this case 3 and 10, you replace hmm, this 13x, which was the second term. You see, this space that you created here is where you are going to put those two factors. Hmm? So, replace 13x with positive 3x plus 10x, which means this positive 3 and this but like positive 10 okay but because the 13 add an x you also add an x to the 3 and the 10 so we replace the 13 x by 3 x plus 10 x because 3 plus 10 equals to what 13 okay which is the same as that so from here what do you do you factorize by grouping because now you have four terms and we know that when you have four terms, you can factorize them by grouping. So what do you do when you are factorizing by grouping? If you don't know how to factorize by grouping, I'll leave an extra link again in the description below where you can learn how to factorize by grouping. But when we factorize by grouping, we uh, factorize the four terms. Like we choose two terms and factorize them separately. Like what we did here with the lines, okay? So let's factorize these two terms first. So let's look. What is the common factor between these two? It's x, okay? So what's 2x squared divided by x? It gives you a 2x. What's 3x divided by x? It gives you a positive 3. Good. Now what does 10x plus and 15 have in common? Sorry. So the 10x and the 15 have what in common? It has a positive 5. So the positive 5 is like the highest common factor of the 10 and the 15. Okay? So when you say 10 divided by 5 or 10x divided by 5, what do you get? You get a 2x. Okay? When you say 15 divided by 5, what do you get? You get a positive 3. Now, here is the part where you see if you are still on the right track or not. You have to make sure that those two brackets are the same. Okay? Once you get to this point, if those two brackets are not the same, it means you have made a mistake somewhere, somehow. 
and you have to restart okay so if you get here and these two brackets are the same like in this case what you do is you take one bracket that will be part of your answer and then you look at this x plus 5 will be part of your other answer or be part of the answer as well now just like that you've got your answer now to test if this is correct you can multiply it out and then if you multiply it out it should be able to give you this which was your question okay let's look at example number two so what do you do when you have something like this let's follow the rules ignore the middle term which in this case now it's negative 2x and increase middle space so we do this okay rule number two multiply a and c so what is our a and c in this case it's three and negative five okay so what's three times negative five three times negative five will give you a negative 14 but in this case given that a lot of people get confused with negative numbers i'd like you to ignore the negative sign for now and just say 3 times 5. What does 3 times 5 give you? It gives you a positive 15. Okay? Now, when you get a 15, let's look at rule number 3. Find factor pairs of that 15. What are the factor pairs of 15? Here they are. Okay? Now, which factor pairs, when subtracted, give us negative 2? Okay? Okay? Now, why do we use subtraction here? Now we bring in that negative sign. We use it here. So, we use the subtraction because we have a negative sign in front of the 5 or in front of our C. Okay? Because we have a negative sign, we use subtraction here. So, which factor pairs, when subtracted, give us negative 2? When we look at 1 and 15, let's look at this pairs quickly. 1 and 15 are very far from negative 2x. So, we skip this we look at another pair what is 5 minus 3 it gives us a 2 but a positive 2 but what are we looking for we are looking for a negative 2 so when we say 3 minus 5 gives us what 3 minus 5 gives us a negative 2 so the factor pairs hmm, that give us a negative 2 when subtracted are 3 like a positive 3 and a negative 5 okay now, given that a positive 3 and a negative 5 are the pairs that give us negative 2, we replace the negative 2, which is here, with the positive 3x minus 5x, okay? So, just like that. Because positive 3 minus 5 gives us negative 2. So, it's, so which means this positive 3x minus 5x is the same as negative 2x good now from this point because you have four terms one two three four we factorize by grouping okay so what do we do when we factorize by grouping we factorize two terms separately okay so let's look at the first two terms what do they have in common they have a three and an x okay so what's three x squared divided by three x it's just x. What is 3x divided by 3x? It gives you a positive 1. Okay? Let's look at 5x minus 5. What do they have in common? Or what is the highest common factor in here? It's negative 5. Okay? Now, if it's negative 5, what is 5x divided by negative 5? Mind you, this is like negative 5x divided by negative 5. It gives you a positive x. What is negative 5 divided by negative 5? It gives you a positive 1. Okay? So just know that once you like uh, have a negative here, when you come and write your factor, there will also be a negative here. Okay? Don't get confused there. Now let's look at our brackets. Are they the same? x plus 1 and x plus 1. Yes, they are the same. Which means we are on the right track. Okay? If your brackets are not the same here, you are not on the right track. And you have done something wrong somewhere, somehow. So what do we do? We write x plus 1 as one of the brackets in the answer part. 
and then 3x minus 5 as the second part of the answer. And just like that, we have found our answer for the second example. Okay? So let's look at example number 3. What do you do when you are given something like this again? And you're told to factorize. So rule number 1, ignore the middle term and increase middle space. Now what is our middle term in this case? It's a negative 17x. Okay? So we ignore the negative 17x and we increase the space. Rule number two, multiply A and C. What is our A? Our A is a 4 and our C is a, also a 4. So we say 4 multiplied by 4 gives us what? 16. Good. Now find factor pairs of that 16. What are the factor pairs of 16? Here they are. Okay? So if these are the factor pairs of uh, 16, which factor pair, when added, give us negative 17? Why are we using addition again here? Because we have a positive sign here in front of our C, which is 4. Okay? So this sign here determines whether we use addition or subtraction. Like when we are dealing with the uh, factor pairs hmm, to find our second term. Hmm? Like in this case, the question is which factor pairs? when added, give us negative 17. So when we look in our factor pairs here, let's look at the first, 1 and 16. Are they close to 17? Yes. But when we add 1 plus 16, it gives us a 17, which is wrong. Why is it wrong? Because it's positive 17. And we are looking for a negative 17. So what we do is, Change the 1 to negative 1 and the 16 to negative 1, like this. And then negative 1 plus negative 16 will give you what? Negative 17, which is the right answer we are looking for. Okay? Now, given that negative 1 and negative 16 are the right answers, that gives us negative 17. It means that this negative 17 is the same as negative 1 plus negative 16. So which means we use these two factors. Hmm? Replace the negative 17x, which is this one, with negative 1x minus 16x. So we put this negative 1x minus 16x in the place of negative 17x, like this. Okay? Because it's a 1, I didn't write it here. Okay? Now, just like that, we have 4 terms. And always when we have 4 terms, we can always factorize by grouping. Okay? So, how do we factorize by grouping again? By factorizing 2 terms separately. So, what is the common factor between this, these 2 terms? It's x. So what is 4x squared divided by x? It gives us a 4x. What is x divided by x? Or negative x divided by x? It gives us a negative 1. Okay? Let's look at the two terms here. So what do they have in common? They have a negative 4. Or negative 4 is the highest common factor. Hmm? So what is 16x divided by negative 4? It's 4x. Because this is a negative 16x divided by negative 4. So a negative and a negative will give you a positive. That's why it's a positive 4x. So what is positive 4 divided by negative 4? It's equals to negative 1. Okay? So from this point, have a look at your two brackets. Are they the same? Yes, 4x minus 1, 4x minus 1, they are the same, which means you are on the right track. You can continue. So you take one of those brackets, you make them your answer, or the first part of your answer, and then you come, you take this x and the minus 4, and you make them the second part of your answer. And just like that, you have found your answer for example number 3. Okay?
So over here I've given you test questions. Feel free to post the video and try them out and see if you can get the right answer. Okay, so here are the answers. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit them down below in the comment section. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, subscribe, turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights. Apart, we all stay behind. Cheers.